Welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host today, Carrie Coogan. And today we are inside Historic Union Station and we are in the Science City Museum and we're joined uh, by Jeremy Lefevre, a Missouri State Representative. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Here in this great exhibit at Science City. This place is such a wonderful uh, gem for our city. Uh, I've got two little kids. I've got a three-year-old and then a, almost a one-year-old. Um, so we like to bring the three-year-old here an awful lot. My mom volunteers here at Science City. So this is one of the places that we spend so much time and um, are so appreciative to all the donors, but in particular the folks at uh, Burns and McDonald who have don done so much for this incredible place. So it's, it's a great, great place to be. Thanks yeah. for having me. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. Um, one of the things I'm, I'm, there, I'm sure there's a long list of things that we need to get to, but the most the thing I want to start with is um, the earned tax credit bill. Um, I know this is a priority for you, but I wondered if you could talk a little bit more about it. Yeah, um, on the federal level, they have a federal earned income tax credit called the EITC, and about 60% uh, of Missourians, the lowest uh, income. Uh, families qualify for it. Um, it was started uh, by the Nixon administration in the 70s, uh, expanded by President Ronald Reagan who called it probably the, the biggest anti-poverty program in our country's history. Um, it's designed to give low to moderate income families a little bit of their tax money back. Um, one, because those are the families who really need tax relief, certainly in my opinion, um, but also because at those moderate to lower income uh, areas, once you inject some money back into that family, they turn around and spend it. There's always a need. I, I'm a family man myself. There's always a need, whether the, the tires need rotated or something around the house. I mean, there's always something where, where a family can use that. And so that money gets injected immediately back into the economy, which is why economists um, on both sides of the aisle, um, almost universally, I think that, that an EITC um, is really good tax reform and tax relief. I think this is a great time um, to start talking about it or to talk about it more. You know, we did a lot of business uh, income tax uh, reductions uh, last legislative session, and I think um, sort of bookending those tax reductions with something for the average Missourian is, is a smart way to go. Well, I'm glad you brought up sort of the both sides of the aisle issue because I think that's mm -hmm. something that people are very concerned about. Um, what, what do you do or what do you think works in terms of getting um, discussions going, compromise, things done? I think, you know, uh, uh, no offense to the folks in the media, but I think the vast <laughs> majority of the time People on both sides of the aisle get along really, really well. Um, there are those times, and it does, it's easy to get quoted. It's easy for people to retweet it if you're being sort of controversial or um, antagonistic. But in large part, um, everybody knows that we got elected to, to serve our constituents, and so we head down there and do the best we can. I have great relationships. I just got my committee assignments actually about an hour ago. Um, but I have great uh, relationships with the chairs on every committee I serve on, and so there's going to be so much opportunity. No, I mean, I, I don't, I don't disagree that there's probably good relationships, but is there ability to actually get things done? Absolutely. Um, you know, even um, there are those wedge issues, sometimes tax cuts, sometimes you know the life issues and things like that, and they take up a lot of airtime. But when you talk about angel investment tax credits, when you talk about low-income housing tax, when you talk about legislation for children, on the budget committee, I sit on the budget committee, we've invested millions and millions of additional dollars in early childhood education and quality improvements. Um, working with folks on both sides of the aisle, I worked on a parental notification piece on the child care issue last year um, with uh, Representative Fitzpatrick, a Republican from Southern Missouri. Um, and we were able to get that across the line and make that happen. I work on juvenile justice reform with Representative Hicks from St. Louis, another Republican. Um, and we get all kinds of things done on that. It's just not, it's generally not as fun to talk about or, or But you are saying it that it's happening. All the time, all the time. Anything you're working on um, right now? Right now, um, of course, the earned income tax credit bill that we talked about, but I've got another uh, child care uh, bill in the state of Missouri. Uh, you don't have to have a license to operate a child care facility, and I think most parents don't realize that. They think that they're sending their kids to a place um, and, and they are, it's a licensed facility, but that's not the case in Missouri. So I'm, I'm working on some of those things and, and hopefully one of these days we'll be able to come back and talk more about it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate your time and keep up the good work, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> and thanks for having me. I appreciate okay. it. That's all the time we have uh, for Newsmakers this time, but we'll see you back here again real soon.